And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some No Deep Nautilus. This is going to be a control deck with Shadow Isles and Bilgewater that's going to have Nautilus in it and no other deep cards. Really the point of Nautilus here in this deck is to be a good card to play against these Feel the Rush decks where they put in like their 10-10s because Nautilus is just so big being an 012 with tough and we're hopefully going to be able to go deep by just um, drawing a lot of cards see like maybe we can turn Nautilus into being a 1313 that way but just going to be just a huge huge blocker that's what we're going to have Nautilus in here for plus also we need Nautilus in play for Riptide we're playing two Riptides to be able to shuffle back some Trindamirs and make Trindamir pretty sad but besides that, as you can tell, we're going to be Shadow Isles Bilgewater Control. We got some Powder Kegs with Gangplank, um, Dreadway Deckhand. So we got some Powder Keg stuff to go along with having like Twisted Fate Red Card, The Box, Withering Whale, Grasp the Undying, lots of good removal spells. And then at the top end, we have a cool combo kill. Also, we have the Dreadway uh, that can double the damage of all of those things. And whenever we have the Dreadway in play, which we have three of them, then we play a Ledros, and our Ledros will therefore uh, kill our opponent immediately um, because it will double the damage, and it does half round it up. And so, of course, half times two is a whole, and so we'll do all the amount of damage to them to kill them um, immediately. All right, now the other part of our deck is we are a go-hard deck, and that's going to be the other part of our control deck. We got our three go-hards. We're going to be trying to get to pack your bags quite a bit we have um you know a good amount of card draw to try to go there and we also have zap sprayfin where our only spell you know draws a spell that costs three or less from the deck the only spell that does cost three or less in the deck is the go hard so every time we play a sprayfin it will always draw go hard um and so yeah so that we'll be able to tutor it up that way um, we have some brash gamblers in here just to be able to uh, discard a couple of cards that we don't need but then attack and draw two, get them fleeting. That's just going to help us dig through the deck uh, very quickly for finding more go hards and, of course, going deep for Nautilus. So that's our deck. No deep Nautilus. Let's go ahead and give it a try. We're going to be playing five games over in normal because it's meme tier day. This is a good meme tier deck. It's a, a go hard deck that's a control deck that we're also playing Nautilus. And we're going to have Trundle and um, Soraka. <laughs> I almost forgot. I saw, like, you know, the Stellicorn on, on uh, Soraka's art. I almost said Stellicorn. Trundle and Soraka to start with. Let's go ahead and mulligan the Nautilus and the Pool Shark. And we're going to keep the other two. Um, Pool Shark. Are basically, everything in our deck costs a lot of mana. We only have nine cards in our deck that cost less than four mana. And so Pool Shark is not something we want to play early because it will just be obliterating the top card of our deck, most likely. But in the very late game, or like whenever we have Twisted Fate in play, whenever we have a deck filled with Gohards, then playing Pool Shark helps. And if we're playing against an aggro deck like where we absolutely need the 1 2 as just the blocker, we can do that too. Because at that point, you know, you can just obliterate the top card. And that's fine. All right, we already got two Gohards, and the Sprayfin's going to be another, so we, we're already sitting on three Gohards. I like that quite a bit. Let's just hold the Dreadway deckhand, because I have this Brash Gambler here that I got to discard two cards. And I may just discard... Like, Dreadway deckhand's probably my best card to discard currently in my hand. All right, maybe not. I don't want my opponent to get a big mana advantage. I'm going to try to do two go hards to kill this Weirding Stones. Send them running. I'll take it. We only have to play one go hard.
So they're up one card because their Pell Cascade drew a card. Um. Draws Go Hard. I think it makes sense to block Go Hard. I'm sorry, Kordak. Yeah, I guess I could put it on there. Why are you here? Good guiding touch. I really like Brash Gambler, just haven't don't really have cards that I want to discard right now. Do we get to kill the troll? Yeah, I think just the Taric Draven and that Anivia deck have been the only ones in the last few months. I attack, they just block with Soraka and, and give them the ability to heal with Soraka as well. Okay, Withering Whale, that's that's definitely a card we can discard. May want to just Vengeance the Soraka. Where's my lord? We hunted for you. Out. Now we'll take down Trundle. That's what I was worried about with Troll Scavenger was Pill Cascade. That's definitely what that attack represented. So is it better to cast Salvage or Brash? I guess it's better to cast Salvage. Wow. Well, we know where all the Vengeances are. We're just uh, going towards this Dreadway Ledros. Kill, that's that's the plan. Everyone here, let's go. To heal and protect. I'll leave that first part to you, Soraka. I'll protect you. So we're about to have eight mana, so we gotta wait till next turn, then play Dreadway. And turn after that Ledros. Nautilus will just block. For now. For now. Be at peace. Ready for anything. Fourteen away from deep. Take Don't think they need to be that worried about that. Yeah, maybe I should have just. Um, <laughs> yeah, that got just like these almost deep, but. Not quite. Yeah, maybe I should just waited on that, pack your bags. Alright, then we have Ledros next turn. They basically need a Hush to survive. King of Trolls coming through! They just have Soraka regen deck. I'll protect you. All right, here it is. Combo time. Hopefully, no hush. Oh, 
Ledros will do half the damage. Dreadway doubles that. So 10 times 2, 20. There we go! Boom. The waters cannot be sated. All right, what to know? Okay, we'll see if we can do the same kind of thing again. The vengeance seems pretty good against like these kind of things, right? I guess I just keep vengeance and just kind of hang out. Um, yeah. So just kind of hang out. <laughs> Draw some cards. Gangplank's not necessarily bad, but you know, I don't really need it. So now they pass to me, thinking that I'm with their Catalyst of Aeons, thinking I'm going to attack. What do I kill with Go Hard? Do I try to kill the Weirding Stones or the Trundle? I guess it's the Trundle. I kind of want to kill the Weirding Stones though. You got legs. Use them. Okay. I'll trade. I'll trade the Dreadway for four life plus a Frostbite card. It's a good trade. <laughs> the last play of last game, you heard the old AOL. Goodbye. I right, guess I vengeance that. Alright, found the Dreadway. Now we just gotta draw Ledros. Thought me smell some. Okay, that's another go hard. And another card draw. Or twist of fate. I can see playing the pool shark this turn. Gotta go with the flow. This one's on the house. Why are you here? Yeah, it's true. Dreadway plus pack your bags does 10 damage to all their stuff. So that is pretty good. Yeah, so that's that's our main plan is just 10 damage all their stuff with the Dreadway. And then Ledros is back up. I like Ledros' is plan A. <laughs> We're gonna have Pack Your Bags as backup. Watch the ball, folks. Hopefully something cheap. Okay, that's cheap. We can play that. This would be the third go hard. Gotta trust your instincts. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna save go hard so that they, cause it looks like they're gonna play a really soul next turn. Looks like that's the plan. And so I need to have the go hard. Uh, to get rid of the spell shield and then vengeance. Hello, good terror. Let's rock. So I, I hope the Aurelian Soul challenges the Twisted Fate, but honestly it should be the Eclipse Dragon challenging Twisted Fate.
I can't let them just continue to gain free uh, invoke cards every turn. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We got one mana left for pack your bags. So that's pretty awesome. Gonna challenge the ice pillar, but you know, let's go. Let's go with this. Come on, no hush, no hush, no hush. Let this happen. It'll be 10, 10 damage. Kill everything. Let's go. Dreadway, pack your bags. <laughs> and now they're at nine. Save the GGs yet. Okay, yeah, because they have flash freeze. Almost got him. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Yeah, so now the box the box does six, because you know, it does double, so it usually does three. So now both these are doing six. We can play the gangplank first to get a powder uh, powder keg, and then these do eight. Alright, so they got a living legends. That's what they got with the Aurelian Soul. No. I rarely forget and never forget. Time to earn your pay. But just for us, you know, like they played they played a Aurelian Soul. And um, okay. You know, really in soul, infinite mind splitter, all this crazy stuff. Looks like we still got him. There we go, GG's, two and O. Oh. Drink up, the taverns will sing our tale this eve. Yeah, that pack. All right, Trundle Sejuani. They're going big. And we want to play against decks going big because we are very slow. I don't know. I don't know, higher gun, I could take it or leave it. I like, I like spray fin. I like having a dreadway. Dreadway is one of our main combo cards. No, I just, I just mulligan that, that Nautilus. Okay, there we go. Nautilus is back. Success gets you noticed around here. I guess so. This allows... Because, of course, you know, we just want to stay alive. This does allow Zap Spray Finn to go draw Go Hard that kills that 3-1. Um, also, alternatively, we have Withering Whale. They can kill that. Ooh, the Gambler. I could discard Withering Whale and Pool Shark. Maybe next turn. We'll just leave with Spray Finn. Get some more Go Hards into the deck. They're making Withering Whale look kind of good.
using Pool Shark as a gain five life card. We can play Nautilus next turn. And the turn after, we have Double Riptide. And then the turn after that, we have the Dreadway. Oh, I don't like these super fast, really large things. I guess that kills me. Nowhere near ideal. I feel like Brash Gambler is the card I need to play. Put a 4-5 into play. Salvage is easy to discard. I'm not sure about any of these. This has to be a go-hard. We need a Ruination. Ah, uh, they just rally, they just kill me anyway. <laughs> we can get more Gohards. It doesn't... I understand the Gohard is like a main win condition, but against a board of filled with 5-5s, five dealing one damage just isn't going to help us. What are we playing against? Shivana, Aurelian Soul? Well, I like the Dreadway deck can. Ours is the one true light. All right, Dreadway deck can helps. Never again will we fall to dragon fire. Let's go with the higher gun here. I don't want to play the deck hand right now because then they just challenge my powder keg and kill it. So yeah, we'll trade. Two drops, that's a good trade. And now next turn, you know, we'll have deck hand go hard this thing. Be nothing left when I'm done. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. And if they want to use a single combat, you know, like we'll we'll trade go hard for single combat. Done that. Stun saves five life. Or just play Pool Shark and block it. Yeah, that's better. Punish transgressors. Clear off. Something the matter. Alright, got Ledros. We'll have an extra card from the Pool Shark that maybe we'll play, but... <laughs> maybe not also. Okay, so I, I could go Brash Gambler, discard... Actually, let's do that. Let's go Brash Gambler instead of Sprayfin. We discard this Nautilus, discard this... Withering Whale. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Nice 4-5 blocker. That's what I was hoping to find. Was it go hard? Nowhere to go. 
I'm not really sure why they cast the Strafing Strike. <clears throat> but they just discarded a Strafing Strike for us, so that's not too bad. I guess we'll take that. I mean, it's not really that risky attacking... Like, attacking with Gambler is not, not actually risky. Because the worst case scenario is you burn the top two cards of your deck. But, of course, those, those two cards that are on top of your deck that you're burning... It could be just like that those are the two bottom cards. You know, like, they're all random, so it's like... The worst case scenario, it, you can think of it just like you burn the bottom two cards. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like they're, they're all random, and and um, you know we're just burning two cards in the deck. I guess I wait. I don't think I play go hard. Can't win if you don't play. Surprise, surprise. Of course, it just even just burning cards though does help you just draw more go hards. So it does help that. Which one do I want to do? Do I want to do Vengeance or... Yeah, I guess that is Vengeance. Yeah, whenever you attack with Brash Gambler, you get to, you draw two cards and you give them Fleeting. So you draw, you draw two Fleeting cards from the top of your deck. So my pack, my pack your bags won't kill either of these with this block, but they'll both be one health. So basically, I'm thinking about doing this block, I'm then do go hard to get rid of the spell shield, and then pack your bags, and so then they would turn these both to being one health. So close to killing them both, but not not quite killing either. Um, I do have spray fin that goes, that can go find another go hard after that, and. This is going to be me putting more, you know, shuffling more Gohards into the deck. Which means that the uh, attack with Brash Gambler should make it also easier to find more Gohards. Unfortunately, the Fury kept both of these alive. Oh, I guess Fury didn't help the Dragon Giovanna, but the Fury kept that one alive. Oh, that was the card that... Uh, of course, I was thinking, you know, like, well, we could wait till next turn. Yes. Oh, wait, but we don't have packed the bags anymore. Okay, this still works. I, got, I can go, like, Twisted Fate... Gold card. You know, I also, you know, I have so I basically have all of these things. We'll start with this one. And we'll see what they do. See how yeah, that's fleeting. Okay. So we go red card. I should do gold just in case. We know two of these five cards in hand are invoke cards. I'm really glad I did a gold card. Alright, GG's. I did not want to bear Aurelian Soul dead. It was in the card. Pack your bags. That Brash Gambler. How good was that Brash Gambler? That game. That that card was incredible, that game. 
All right, so we're three and one. Our deck's kind of working. Rash Gambler helping us dig for more more go hards. Yep. Uh, yeah, let's mulligan the vengeance and maybe I need to mulligan Sprayfin. I don't want to mulligan Sprayfin. We had the Dreadway with the with the Go Hard combo. We had our Brash Gambler go find more Go Hards. Our deck is going pretty hard. Don't get in my way. This is mercy. Man, that is mercy. I can't pass and then they they just go to their turn, right? Like that that's a something that could be really bad for me. That'd be a bad sign. Break their spirits and their swords. That's pretty rough. One one mana card to counter our five mana card. Kind of a tough call which one to kill the girls will ranger the two one i think i kill the two one and have my zap spray fin trade with the grizzled ranger because killing the three one just gives them a three four right so like it doesn't really kind of doesn't really help slow them down but getting rid of the two one does at least help slow them down Probably not killing me this turn for this game. Oh wait, no. That kills me. Oh wait, never mind. It does kill me. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything to stop that. Oh, well, looks like we're 3-2. and two. Yeah, scouts, did, scouts will do that to you. Looks like we're three and two. All they, all they gotta do is attack. Looks like they figured it out. It's kind of what their deck does all the time, is attack. And so I was hoping they wouldn't figure that out, but they did. A vile feast could have kept us alive. All right, GG's three and two, great. Uh, Rangers resolve. Stop that withering whale, and then the, the relentless pursuit. Uh, being able to get that extra attacking in. Um, but, uh, yeah, there we go. So that's No Deep Nautilus. This was pretty cool. I liked playing this deck. I think that there was some, definitely some good stuff in here. Uh, you know, making it, you know, this is, of course, a, another Go Hard Control deck. Um, I, I think that there is a really good Go, go Hard Control deck out there. Of course, the, the Twisted Fate Elise version is the, the really popular version of, of the Go Hard deck. But I actually don't really like that one as much. I I think that just I like going with uh, like Gangplank, and um, and just going bigger. I mean, maybe not even Gangplank, maybe Thresh. But I think that you can go big with this kind of deck. I think that uh, playing a Go Hard Control deck with a ton of card draw and then Grasp, Withering Whale, Vengeance, that kind of stuff is a really good idea. But I have to say, I was really impressed with the Dreadway with Go Hard. So that does make me want to go Gangplank, is because. 
yeah, Dreadway with Go Hard looked awesome. Um, I like that. I like that quite a bit. Um, maybe we could fit like some some glimpse beyonds in here. I don't know. You know, basically, I don't. I know the spray fin in this version always draws Go Hard, but I I don't think that that's too necessary. I think you could still just play other good two mana cards or you know two and three mana cards uh, in like these kind of in these kind of regions, and you don't always have to just rely on you know, having spray fin draw go hard, even though that does make it easier to pack your bags. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching some No Deep Nautilus, and I'll see you for the next video.